Oh. Here she is. Hey, Kayla. Hey. hey. <laughs> she got ready with the quickness. <laughs> hey. Good to see you. Now I'm a bit starstruck. Uh, <laughs> uh, I've been trying, I mean, uh, uh, as a fellow lawyer, I mean, I had to do a bit of research and stuff, but I, I would really like for you to tell my audience, who is Kayla Bumpus? Okay. Hi, everybody. Thank you guys for having me. My name is Attorney Kayla Bumpus. I am an Atlanta attorney. I have been practicing. I'm going into my eighth year. I do about 60% personal injury and about 40% criminal, but that's a recent switch. Um, for about the first five years, I did 100% criminal. I just kind of moved into personal injury. Um, and I think, you know, this situation is exactly why. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm... I'm going out on a limb and I'm taking a wild guess. Uh, Mr. Melnick called you and, hey, can you do me a favor? Mm -hmm. And it's just this contempt hearing. Could you do that for me? And you said, yes, give me some basic facts and I'm on my way. Could mm -hmm. you ever have imagined what happened then? No. Be because I assume you're, I don't know if, but I assume you told the court I'm here for the limited purpose. I, and that, I told them, but he told them on Friday that I was a stand-in. Yeah? So yeah. limited purpose, I mean, even though you at least here in Sweden you have to fi file the limited purpose affidavit or whatever it's called, and but all, also orally, as long as you're an uh, officer of the court, your word are, is good enough. And then he said, no, you have to wait for 10 days to recuse yourself. Even though live on air, you were fired by Mr. Copeland. You fired. <laughs> <laughs> I, these things just never happens. I mean, uh, it's just, and it's, I mean, have you gone over the transcript? I have. I mean, in the beginning, I make it very clear. I mean, my favorite, one of my favorite parts is the who me? Because I'm confused there. What do you mean? Yeah. Who me? I got to say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, one, one of my fa favorite part was, uh, I believe, Miss Love said something, and you just, uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> And it, that was important enough to get down to the into the transcript. And I did, oh, I wanted to be a fly on that wall. And um, I mean, that, that transcript. Now, I did a live reading of it. Now, you might be not be able to t say anything about it. I did a live reading with commentary to my viewers. And I checked back. And the live reading plus uh, commentary to my viewers about an hour and 33 minutes it took with commentary and everything and then i looked back okay that meeting was two and a half hours long and the pauses was a combined roughly 30 minutes the, i have a feeling there's a good chunk of time missing here i don't know um i wouldn't say there's any time missing um be because I think the time kind of adds up uh, because we were back in the courtroom around 1140. Yeah. Right at um, 12 o'clock because I think we only went for about maybe 30 minutes and then he broke for lunch that day. Yeah. 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 That's true. And uh, the transcript started with uh, you in that uh, room. We don't. I'm not sure if any. What? What if any happened before? So, but I, you know, when you read something, because I, I've been, uh, I spent three years in the European Union as a documents analyst. You get the feeling when something something is missing, and I just can't shake that off. That there's something missing here. 
I'm I'm going live on my channel on Friday at six. Yeah. Um, so I can do this, I guess. It won't be a one and done. It'll definitely have to be some follow up mm. because there are so many issues still pending. And it seems like now my motion, which I believe to have been moved, is mm. a motion to quash now still has to be ruled on. So I'm I, I'm mm. very confused. I'm still in limbo. Yeah, I would assume so, because if everything that, that happened from uh, June, June 12th, going forward all of that more or less has to be backed up if i read the motions correctly and the statute correctly now we do know that your Glanville is of a different opinion but i have discovered throughout the trial i mean i've been covering this case for over a year he is not as good with the statute as he think he is or he knows it he just doesn't care I don't know which one is worse. <laughs> I don't know which one is worse. And that's what I keep saying is that's the scary part. You know, I don't really have anything to say directly about him mm. right now. But what yeah. I can say is one of the most alarming moments in this whole situation was when Ashley Merchant comes and lays the law on civil oh. contempt versus criminal contempt, reads mm. the statute, and yeah. gives an explanation, and he still says, okay, I don't care. He's going to jail. And then he explains it during the ex parte meeting. Yeah. So it's like, how did you free, how did you use the difference in that meeting, but then throw it out the window when you are, someone's inquiring about it? <laughs> so. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I mean... I'm trying that's, to, yeah, I, I'm trying that's to. That's what yeah. had me so scared is because it's not, I never believed I had done anything wrong, but watching that, I'm like, it doesn't matter if I do anything wrong or not. He's going to do what he wants to do. <coughs> yeah. I mean, we, we do get these things once in a while here when a judge kind of uh have a bit too what do you call it? i i can't say it's a god complex but the the the, the notion i can't do wrong because i've been a judge for this long and uh judge glanville has been a judge for a very long time before he went into the uh, as a judge in Fulton county in 2004 no but whatever year it was Brigadier General for the United States Armed Forces with the responsibility to, uh, on a NATO mandate, to build up a justice system in Afghanistan. I mean, you don't give that to anybody. But here we are. What happened between then and now? And it's, yeah, I can't explain it. He should be at the prime of his career, almost looking at when's the next Supreme Court position opening up? Instead, he's here. Possibly facing recusal from one of the most important trials in Georgia history. History. Yeah. And I think and, that the, the problem is, I, like, I haven't, I keep saying this, I, I had not followed what had really been going on from the beginning because it's hard to do that and be in an actual courtroom and have actual clients and you know watch this but you are preaching to the choir with nick he's doing this 100 days and going to court <laughs> yeah i don't i can't do it and no I, don't... I i do not recommend doing what i am doing the only reason i can do this is i've been i've been doing labor law for over 30 years and i know what's coming I know all the statutes. I know what I'm getting myself into. I can I can bit pick my cases, but it's it takes a toll. It it does it does. Doing first, I mean, eight to ten hours of my usual work, and then sit down and stream for a while. Right, but and I, it's 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 also it's, it can be draining. But so, do you go to court a lot? <coughs> No, 
I, I'm, I don't do trials. I do the base work and negotiations. My focus is uh, injuries in workplace, safety inspections, and negotiation in big uh, factory closeouts. So these, those are my focuses. But I do not. I, I stopped doing. I, I, I did that early on on a few right. cases. But I have, according to my colleagues, arresting serial killer face, and that doesn't. Go <laughs> that does, that's not good in trial. <laughs> if you're uh, too big and look too scary, that works against you. So that is better in negotiation, being big and looking scary. Now, hopefully I don't... <laughs> that, this is the fun part. When I, do the, when I do all of this streaming, I don't look scary. I, I hope I don't. No, you that's don't. what Mr. Jingles is for. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Mr. Jingles is here somewhere. Yeah, yeah, he did an off IF motion and is out the door. Yep. Oh, my poor cat. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, I hope I will never meet any of you in my professional abilities, but because I, I much prefer myself like this instead of that. <laughs> so, yes. stoic labor law. I mean, vice rate. Hey. Thank you to Legal Vices. Hey, hello, Jeff. Uh, go subscribe to both ladies. Good choice, good choice. Everybody go subscribe to Kayla Bumpus. I believe you need 500 uh, subscribers and... Uh, oh, she the, got it. Oh, oh got you it. already I got, got it. it. Yeah, yeah. So Kayla, that, honestly, no, oh. once... Once people realized that that wasn't one of the fake accounts, like one of the ones that was popping up that wasn't really Caleb Bumpus, everyone started finally subscribing. Yeah. Yeah. I, I never really been on YouTube until the past three days. So I'm so <laughs> shocked at myself that I've been able to get so many subscribers in three days. Yeah. I mean, it, it's, it's, you're the talk of the town. And now you need content. And having that Q&A will be excellent so you get all the numbers. And uh, I've been doing this for a year and a half now. No, more than a year and a half. My first month, was I was horrible at this. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a learning curve. We all, we all go through it. And yeah, but I think you will do amazing. And I... I <laughs> I knew that. Are you on TikTok? Because I saw something about you posting something on TikTok. I... I'm on TikTok, but I don't have any followers on TikTok. I, I don't know how to work TikTok. I have, um, but I make videos and really I have to go on there every day and delete my five year old's videos that she makes because she's made it her TikTok. So oh. <laughs> every day I have to like, <laughs> take this off. Is this? So. <laughs> But I'm trying to build my TikTok. Um, I put my Instagram up there. I'm okay on Instagram. You know, I haven't really been on social media. I have been in Atlanta my whole life. And as everyone knows, I was a prosecutor for um, the first year of my legal career. But I never really had a problem with business, with people and networking. So I've never focused on building my social media platform because mm. I've been so busy working for real in real life. Not to say that other people don't do that, but it's hard to kind of do both. You really have to get to a point where you are established and you have help, and then you can focus on your social media. And you, most people in my profession have to pay someone to do that. And yeah, it's not really the like person. That. Yeah, so, you know, I'm really just getting to the place in my legal career where, hey, I can balance all these things out. And I think, mm. like, this is the perfect time for me to start doing that. Get your daughter yeah. on payroll. <laughs> she yeah. knows how to do it. <laughs> she knows how to do it. <laughs> up, 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 child labor. Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, now, this was uh, unexpected because I was going to have this roast about uh, the opening statement in the Young Thug Tribe. Have you seen before you entered into the business. Have you seen any of this? No, I'm ready. You're ready. Okay. Let's and it's been here. so long for me. And I kind of tune out opening statements sometimes because some of them just... But it's been so long. It's been obviously more than 100 days that this is going to feel like new to me. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, and uh, let's see here. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, now, Miss Adrian Love. Yeah, we now... got to teach Kayla how to cover the Lawn Crime logo with a little stream yard overlay. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and this is Mr. Jingles in a Viking and a, a Viking helmet and a suit. <laughs> and we are all members of Jingles Viking Thugs Gang, just so you know. <laughs> These are this is my viewers' fault. They went into this full on. Oh, hello. I'll, Jeff, do you want to see? I will send Jeff a link too. Jeff is legal vices. He is a Korean based American lover. Lover? Um, <laughs> lawyer. <laughs> Both? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Uh, where are you? There you are. <laughs> and Kayla's out of picture. <laughs> okay, I hope she's there somewhere. There she is. <laughs> okay, let's go with... The state opening statement, and let's see what she said. I barely remember it as well. I I, I kind of remember it being very very vague and think of the community kind of thing, but um, to see if what she promised actually came true. And here's Jeff. Hey Jeff. Hi. Hey Kat. Hi. How you doing? And we're we're not worthy to be in Kayla's presence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was just saying, like Nick always throws like, every time I I, I, I raid link, raid, you know, raid Nick or forward people to him or do something. He always sends me the link suspiciously when he has two wonderful, attractive, intelligent. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's a uh, uh, coincidence. Um, uh, yeah. yeah, coincidence, yeah. pure. Coincidence. <laughs> uh -huh. But here you are, Jeff. Welcome. I am. Yeah. Now, you haven't watched much of the Young Thug trial either because you've been busy with other trials. Well, just you... the insane, well, just like the really insane parts, not just like mm. the normal insane parts of the Thug trial. Of course, you know, we, we, we all watched Kayla explain why, no, she really doesn't <laughs> represent the guy anymore, only to be told, yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can't quit. <laughs> I mean, please. Uh, God bless Kayla's restraint as a human being. I mean, I, 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 I was. Oh, I think you're muted, Kayla. Uh -oh. She's well, like Woody. Around. She's got to learn to read lips. Yeah. <laughs> it might be on your headset or microphone, something, because it's not on StreamYard. Or just using stress, just use sign language is good, yeah. Well, once Miss Love comes into the picture, I have a few yeah. signs. Did it work? It. There you go. There you go. Okay, yeah. No, I had to work hard on that. That's yeah. the, that's the 2024 <laughs> Kayla. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I yeah, was just I'm... watching that whole thing unfold. I'm just sitting here watching, thinking. I would be over. I would be over that bench. <laughs> I would. I would be. They would be pulling me off of the judge at some point. So God bless you. <laughs> well, they say. I mean, it's so crazy. The internet is torn over that. Some people say I was. I, I was so nasty. Really? Yeah. <laughs> you, well, no. they certainly never met me. <laughs> no. I mean, my biggest concern in going to Atlanta in August is that if uh, either Miss uh, Willis or Miss Love sees me, I'll be put in jail uh, because I'm, <laughs> I, 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 I might have had words. Um, You're part of the RICO now. Yeah, I'm yeah. part of the RICO now. <laughs> That's why I tell people if you wear green, you're part of the RICO. If you sit with the family in the courtroom, I, call, I told my mom, I said, oh, you YSL Kim now. <laughs> <laughs> or that one witness that was like oh lifestyle was a banger like must be part of the rico now rico oh which is quite funny because most of the time 
Miss Hilton and Miss uh, Love are color coordinated and more than once in red or green. Um, yeah, uh, oh, what was it? Uh, it was in the testimony of Slug, I believe. They were work hard on the the bloods uh, angle while wearing red. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, they don't see the irony here. <laughs> <laughs> well, what are you? You're wearing blue and red right now. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? Can I, well, I am part of the uh, Mr. Jingles Viking. So we can. Speaking of, here he is. Hello. What's up, Jing? <laughs> here, here is my supreme, <laughs> our supreme leader of the Mr. Jingles Viking thugs. The oh, eyes, here. the way the eyes are like sinking into the scratches. <laughs> Well, either that or he's plotting my demise. Um, hello, hello. You can sit over there. All right, we are only half an hour in, and this is the roast of his love's opening statement. Let's go. And the names of some of these people involved are hilarious. <laughs> Oh yeah, the names. Yeah, you have. When I started this, I heard oh Miss Love. Okay, then Mr. Short. Yeah, that's that's just unfortunate. Yeah, and then we have uh, former ADA Sprinkle. I like Bean. <laughs> yeah, Bean. Yeah, Bean. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's simple. <laughs> Like every yeah, Thursday, we, we we watch this murder trial where you have Detective Infinger, Detective Coxwell, and for some reason <laughs> they just keep talking about how they only entered the murder scene through the rear entrance. It's just awkward. It's just awkward, <laughs> awkward testimony. All right. Let me know when you're ready, ma'am. We're ready. Okay. All right. All right. If you wish to make an only statement at this point in time, please go ahead. All right. We didn't, didn't know the judge was insane at this point. That's the cool part. Yeah, we had no idea he was who he was. No. And uh, bear with me because the judge uses his microphone. Miss Love doesn't. I, I, I love when they gave. I love when they gave Hilton a, the handheld mic when she was uh, doing direct uh, for Woody. <laughs> Yeah. They finally gave her a microphone. Oh, right. Yes, they did. Yeah. And she's, she's, I mean, walk, she's a walker. She's a mobile. Yeah. And I think there, there's an allergy against microphones among the prosecution team because, yeah. You know, the judge is just playing Minesweeper now, right now. This is the law of the jungle. As old and as true as it's <laughs> like two words in. <laughs> I could never say that in a trial <laughs> against black rappers. I could never utter those words. Oh I would gosh. be so cancelled. <laughs> of the jungle, wow. Yeah. <laughs> did she say did she re, did she like yeah. Okay. Christina Weaver's like, oh, I gotta type that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, I always read my opening statement to my family. I don't, I don't know that would have passed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And now imagine me being the prosecutor in this case. I'm the whitest person on the planet. This is a thousand years of Scandinavian inbreeding. <laughs> No, no, just no. <laughs> and the wolf that shall keep it may prosper. What the, the hell does that mean? That shall break it must die. What? As the creeper that girdles the tree trunk, Again. the law running forward and back. And still I rise or something. It's, <laughs> what is that really mean? from the jungle book? I Googled the quote and it says it's from the jungle book. Oh no, it is not. <laughs> it is not. With Rudyard Kipling. 
It he is says he not. uses the term to describe an actual set of legal codes used by wolves and other animals in the jungles of India. Oh my <laughs> lord. Okay. I, I wouldn't survive going out of this courtroom. I would be jumped by the security if I did this. Quoting the she jungle is not book. quoting from the jungle book. Oh my lord. I right. don't know what she's quoting, but I I, I, I just know <laughs> there's no way in on God's green earth I would survive with an opening like that against black rappers. I mean, well, I'm I'm confused. I don't even know what she's talking about. I don't either. <laughs> because she's reading the Jungle Book. What? <laughs> I just put a link in the chat. I'm not kidding. Oh no, <laughs> this is wrong. <laughs> uh. Oh, oh and just look at the God. captions like memorialized on your screen like where you're paused right now die as the creeper that girdles the tree trunk <laughs> i know but as Richard oh, yeah. Kipling is is an incredible racist why would you be doing this he was like all about the Indian imperialist guy. He was just bad. Why? Yeah, I mean, now this is the law of the jungle as old as true as the sky, and the wolf that shall keep it may prosper, but that wolf, it's from the jungle book by one of the biggest <laughs> racists that ever lived. If I she mean, says, I'm the king of the swingers, yo, I'm the jungle VIP, I'm going to lose my shit. <laughs> I mean, I do remember some poetic thing in the beginning, but I, ha I no, oh no, Miss Love, um, if you're quoting somebody, I mean, you wouldn't see me running around um, quoting old Austrian paper uh, painters. I mean, that's just a bad idea. Uh. And hold on, wait. Prosecutors go first in, in with opening statements in Georgia. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So this is the first thing besides like instructions that the yeah. yes yes <laughs> yes. Well, see that raises the question: Do you want them to be paying attention because it's riveting, or does WTF count as paying attention to try to figure out what you're talking about? I'm sure they're like, huh? I really want to know what they say about that. Did anybody know what she was talking? Uh, it, the um, first question: <laughs> Do you like the Jungle Book? <laughs> 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 um, what is, is this she... poetry night at the local open mic? Uh, well, I, she didn't I... have any lyrics from Song of the South or something. She had to go to the Jungle Book. That's <laughs> King's. Die is the creeper that girdles the tree trunk. The law running forward and something about wolves. <laughs> the law running forward and back. But the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf this is, the, yeah. is the pack. So Rico, mother. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for being patient. It would have been so funny if, if that was it. I, I I thought for a second it was. <laughs> I, I thought I, I must confess I went oh no okay. It would be the I mean, shortest thing she said all trial. Yeah, but you think I, I can see where the Rico thing is coming from? You know, because the strength of the pack is the wolf, and the strength of the wolf is the Rico pack. You know, I can see where she's going with it. Oh no. Thank you so much for being honest during this very lengthy process that preceded this point here today. Yeah, it took them 11 months to see the jury. <laughs> there are people in that jury that were, I, I think, on uh, day two of jury selection. That is the oldest, and that is from January 5th of, or 6th of uh, last year. So she was see, uh, yeah, you were in the jury, and then you she was seated November twenty fifth, and the trial started November twenty eighth. 
of last year. And she thanks him for being honest. Can you imagine if someone like really wanted to get on this jury? They probably regret that now, but they really wanted to, they thought it'd be an interesting case. They wanted to get on it. So they were a little bit deceptive during voir dire. And then the first uh, thing she says is, thanks for being honest. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for being honest. You will be in that seat for the next eight months. Well, we, we, we have to, we have to give, we have to give Ms. Bumpus the, uh, the, the lawyer question. Voir dire, or is it correctly pronounced voir dire, like we do in Utah? <laughs> voir dire. Uh, what? Okay, yeah. you're in the middle. <laughs> yeah. Voir dire. You split the difference. <laughs> <laughs> if you just want to make lawyers fight, ask them how to pronounce that. That'll just start any lawyer fight. Or jury the, there's like prima, prima fasci, prima fasci. Like there's like 10 different pronunciations that I've heard yeah. for prima, prima, prima fasciae. <laughs> It's from fasciitis. What about Pro Hoc Is that right? There you go. That's that's where I, that's, that's where how I, I say it. it. Yeah. That's okay. the only one I get right. Pro <laughs> <laughs> Hoc Vices. Change your name. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pro Hog Vices. Oh, I, w- um, I wish um, I would have thought of that two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Oh. During the one year process. During the Vader process. <laughs> I appreciate you all. Wait, what? No. It's just no. bad captions. No. The captions are good during the Vader that, process. Captions are a bit, th- that's entertainment as well in this. Um, it's proof. I, She's a Sith Lord. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Young Forever wants to know what state is Cat in? Oh, I'm a Floridian, but if if I say things a little weird, there's still a little bit of New York accent that comes out sometimes. Oh, She's so in a state of have... confusion right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, most New Yorkers end up down here anyway, so sometimes I go out and there's more New Yorkers than people without New York accents. <laughs> <laughs> the Vader process. We found Palpatine's sister. Oh, God. Oh, oh this... I did not expect... This dream to take this turn. Uh, Why couldn't this case have been given to Judge Manning? This would have been over by now. <laughs> <laughs> she just whoop their asses and go sit, shit, sit the fuck down and get down to business. I ain't got time for this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Welcome to the six month. I mean, uh, pre-trial. One of the last pre-trial. The prosecution tried to say six to nine months, and the judge Glanville said, "No, six months." You could conceive yeah. a child in the time they expect to have this. Someone case. did. One of the attorneys did. I think it was Nicole. Wasn't? Didn't YSL Nicole, Nicole have a baby? Yeah, Nicole saying she had a baby. Yeah. The baby. Like that's how long two. this has been. <laughs> really though. <laughs> Judge Dempsey said, um, did you guys watch when uh, the other defendants, he says, this case has been going on since God created Adam. Yeah, that was hilarious. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, Oh, I mean, I mean, when I started covering this case, I wasn't completely gray. And uh, yeah. Well, what you they're, made they're the down commitment to... of a lifetime. You said, I'm going to cover a gavel to gavel. <laughs> yeah. And, they're they're and down to the... what? Two alternate witnesses now? <laughs> how, how many alternates <laughs> do they have left? Not many. Oh, no. I, I, I just, that one. Uh, they lost three. So there are three left. But they left, lost three in like the first two months. Since then, uh, the judge has been very adamant in giving pauses and breaks and everything. And I saw Thugger Daily did a breakdown of the first 100 days of trial. That was crazy. They have had 63 full days. Out of those full days, 10 or 12 were hearing days. And uh, 30, yeah, yeah, there, uh, 33 something half days, which means that t- uh, timing. Uh, Actual days, I think there have 59 days off in this trial. No wonder it's going to last forever. 
And yeah, I promise. Oh, last that. forever. They're going to run out of jurors before they run out of trial. Like guarantee it. I mean, for you who don't know, uh, Woody is witness number eighty-four out of two hundred and six in the state. Oh, they whittled it down from seven hundred something to two hundred and eighty-six. Yeah, I mean, they Look just actually forced the. And this is the. It's so tra tragic, comical that. He forced them from 774 down to 400, down to now 206. And these are the most essential witnesses for that has been going on for the past month and a half. And they called two people from Hertz to testify about which car Mr. Williams rented. Two people from Hertz, the renter and his manager. To explain what is this gold member thing and everything, and then in the end, and they sat on the uh, on the stand for a combined nine hours about his damn car he rented. And once they went through on the cross examination, Mr. Williams isn't a gold a gold member of Hertz. <laughs> so they went through all of it <laughs> for nothing. <laughs> I said what. No! And th th these were the witnesses that survived the cut from 774 to 206. Two people from Hertz. <laughs> and if they were like like fact witness, not an expert witness, they don't even get paid to be sitting there for that nine hours. Those people weren't getting paid to be there, were they? The, none of them even worked at Hertz anymore. But they worked <laughs> back then in 2015 when he rented the car. Oh my gosh. A mess. I'm... <laughs> oh, oh, thank you, Superwoman, for your 20 bucks. Talk about the jurors, Kayla. I'm not sure if Kayla can, but I mean, we do know the rough estimation on the age and uh, ethnicity and uh, gender. I believe this. Oh, what was it? I had a breakdown about it. Yeah, I'm going to say when they months. came out, I was very shocked. Okay. That, uh, of course, I didn't realize. I mean, I was so consumed in what I had going on. I didn't realize <laughs> I didn't know what the jury looked like as many times as I've walked in and out that courtroom. I guess because when you, no one can see the jury. Yeah. From so. As many times as I have walked in and out that courtroom, but when I actually saw them, I was like, oh, shit. Oh, okay. Mm. But, but on day three, no, day two of the, this trial, uh, they uh, doxed the first row of the jury. So the camera just panned a little bit much to the left, and there was the first row of jurors. Right. <laughs> and they never told them. <laughs> And but I do, if I remember correctly, there are the jurors. Well, there are three gone, but at the start they were, uh, I believe, nine women, six of them black, three of different. The men were 50 50, I believe, the rest of them uh, black or white. If I remember correctly, now with three gone, I don't really recall. And uh, yes, this this is the best thing about streaming. People will know. Uh, nine women, seven black, two white, three men, two. Okay, yeah, that uh, that is twelve. But then you have the alternates as well. Thank you, uh, Krusty Cobblepot. It's a, it's a funny name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but this is the best part about streaming. You will have an audience that corrects you, knows stuff. And I love that about streaming because I, I I kind of I get things wrong once in a while, and these people will correct me all the time. And I love that. I love that. Are they old all older and retired? No, I don't think so. Not all of them. Uh, ah, 
Army nurse, Miss Bumps, you are my hero. Thank you. Oh, her camera is out again. Yeah, did we lose <laughs> Kayla? We got to repeat it when she comes back. Yeah, I, I have stored. <laughs>